today on Steampunk Minecraft. The Titanic. With the help of our machines, we're gonna build a boat. And that boat is gonna build an even bigger boat. This episode took way longer than I thought it would, but it's finally here. This is episode 16 of Steampunk Minecraft. In the steampunk world, transportation is key. Hence the reason we put so much emphasis on all of these vehicles like this little blimp or the colossal airship that we built, I don't know how many episodes back. Anyways, the point is that we need to get to places and it's only with our creative engineering that we can make that happen. So today we're gonna make something new, but not without scouting a proper site to build this new machine. As you can see, I effortlessly executed a perfect landing. Now, it was simply a matter of getting to the main helm and steering the ship to our new build site, although things were a little off about the airship. Like, really off, actually. Lanterns were floating, blocks were, like, corrupted or something? I, I don't know why it was like that, but it didn't matter. This thing still moved, and that's all we needed. I began soaring towards this new build site, and although it was at a slow speed, it was still better than traversing through all those jungle trees. Anyways, by the next day, we got there, and we took our little landing craft to descend down to the surface. And once I approached the land, you can see here that I have already started working on some new stuff. Yeah, I've been here before. And there it is, the site of our new project. I had already set up the materials prior to this video, so you won't have to worry about the boring aspects of this. One of the first tasks we had to tackle was clearing out all of the stone and all of this dirt. To get the job done, we were going to use the old nether drill that we had built a few episodes prior. Yes, this drill was an engineering marvel. It could break through multiple blocks, and it was powered by a single piece of coal. If we wanted to, this thing could just keep running indefinitely, but today, we just needed to clear out a few blocks. This thing is such a big time saver. Imagine having to break up all these blocks one by one. Anyways, it only took a day and all of this stuff was gone. We had a nice flat plane to build on. There was only one more task I wanted to tackle. That being breaking up the ground one more layer. That way we could lay down some nice stone brick slabs just to have a nice pavement. Anyways, we were gonna have to smell all of that cobblestone to get our stone slabs, and to do this, I made a fan setup. You know, the setup where you put the lava in front of the fan, and then the fan, it blows all of that hot air out so that you can have an instant furnace. Anyways, this is the setup if you want to save a lot of coal. And that's what I did, I threw the cobblestone in, it was converted to stone, and the stone was then turned into the slabs. There we go, that looks way better. Now we can finally start working on our new project, the boat. And what's the best way to start building a boat? By making train tracks. Now, I may have just lost you there, but let me explain. You see, we did have the Valkyrian Skies mod, but I wanted to craft a vessel that didn't rely on that. I know some of you wanted the build for the airship, but you didn't know how to add the mod, so this was a nice workaround just in case you wanted the schematics. This boat will run without the mod. Now to add on to the whole train tracks thing, if you've ever been to Disneyland, then you may know that there is a boat there, a big river boat. And that boat, it's not being steered by some captain. In fact, the boat is actually sitting on tracks. So basically, think of it like a train on water. We can give off the illusion that it's a boat by having the tracks submerged underneath the water. Now at the time of the recording, this was just a going theory. I didn't actually know if the boat was gonna run over the water, but thankfully it did, and this was a big breakthrough. It was finally time to start designing our vessel, and what better material to use than the buoyant material known as concrete? Did you actually think I was gonna waste precious metals to build a boat? No! We're gonna make concrete using gravel, sand, and crushing wheels. Lots and lots of crushing wheels. Now the reason I went to the gold factory was because you know how I said we needed lots of crushing wheels? Well, there were a bunch of crushing wheels there already, meaning that there was a bunch of sand being produced already. So I went to go gather some of that sand. I was hoping that there was gonna be a surplus of it, and it turns out that there really wasn't. All of that sand was still being produced into gold, and I just didn't know that the machine was that effective to the point where it left you with very little sand. So instead of cutting corners and using what we already had, I was just gonna have to design another machine that relied on even more crushing wheels. That's exactly what I did. This machine was going to be powered by these massive water wheels, and the reason we used the big water wheels was because they could handle more stress, and the stress capacity is what we needed to expand on if we wanted this whole machine to work. 
Thankfully, these wheels only required one bucket of water. Now it was time to bring this machine to life. Progress was being made. I even had to tinker with a rotational speed controller just so I could pinpoint the exact amount of RPM so that this thing would work. I toggled it down one level at a time until we finally found the perfect match. You want to play mod packs with friends, but you can't seem to find a good server. And the free ones? With the big mod packs these days, free servers are just too laggy. Luckily for you, there's Bisect Hosting. They host my server, and with plenty of affordable options, they can host your server too. And the best part is, they support almost every mod pack. Use code DOUBLESAL at checkout for 25% off your first order. Bisect Hosting, a great site for great servers. With the crushing wheels now up and running, we were producing the perfect amount of gravel and sand. Now, we had to figure out exactly what colors we were going to use to dye our concrete. I was looking for specific colors. Black, white, yellow, gold, red? The reason I wanted this color scheme was because I wanted to mimic the paint designs of the old ocean liners. Yes, those were grand ships. But to do this, we were going to need a lot of flowers. And a lot of flowers requires a lot of bone meal. Hence the reason why I'm in the nether. You see, I was hoping to come across one of those soul sand valleys and find the fossils. You know, the ones made out of bone blocks. Although instead of a fossil, I found this structure. There was a chest and there were some bones, so I decided to explore further thinking that if I found bones there, I could probably find even more if I went deeper. And it turns out I only found death. Lots of skeletons! So yeah, technically I did find bones, but they were kinda hostile. It was time for attempt number two, and thankfully this one was more successful than the previous one. Only this time, instead of skeletons, I had to deal with ghosts. Now these ghosts, they were annoying. For some reason, they were just extremely bulky, and there were a bunch of them. But once I was able to kill a ghost, and I don't know how that works, ghosts are dead, aren't they? But like I said before, once I was able to kill the ghosts, I was able to harvest the bones, and then it was back to the work site, where I was attacked by even more ghosts! I don't know why they attacked me. I don't know what the deal is, but we finally had our flowers and we finally had the means to duplicate them via bone meal. Check this out. Isn't that just amazing? I love that feature. Saves you so much time having to go pick flowers. Next, we had to get charcoal because we needed to make black dye. Black dye was gonna be the color of our ship's hull, and so we had to chop down a lot of trees because we were gonna be burning a lot of wood. And once that was burned, we had our charcoal supply, and now we were free to make as much dye as we needed. I combined all the ingredients together to make the concrete powder, all those different colors, and then I threw them into the fan, which was now washing them with water, converting them into concrete blocks. I just love concrete blocks. Look how smooth they look. Now, it was finally time to start building our ship. The question is, how does one do that? I've never built a boat before. Strike that, that's a lie. I have built a boat before, but not one this small. Why? Because it's difficult. Now, some of you may be wondering, how can building a big boat be easier than building a small boat? Well, that's because the inspiration for the boat that I'm building has a lot of detail, and packing all of that detail into such a small build is difficult given the cube-like nature of Minecraft. Now, what boat did I base this off of? I was basing this off of the SS Nomadic. The Nomadic was known as a tender boat, which is basically a boat responsible for ferrying passengers and supplies from the land to the ship. The Titanic is way too big to dock at our boatyard, so we're gonna have the Nomadic to ferry us between the two. I hope you guys like the design. I tried to recreate it as best I could with the stuff I was given, but yeah. This is what the inside looks like, nothing fancy. And as for the controls, well, they're down here too. But let me show you how this works. The pneumatic is going to run on tracks. That we already know. The question is, how are we going to lay out these tracks? The idea was that we were going to make one big loop. The pneumatic was going to circle around. All we had to do was lay down the actual tracks to make that happen. Unfortunately, as soon as I assembled the ship to make it a movable entity, all of it came apart. So yeah, we're going to have to do without the lines, but I still think it looked good enough. Anyways, it was time to take her on the maiden voyage. The nomadic pulled out of the dock and was sailing out into the open water. Well, at least a few feet away from the dock, but you know what? It still counts. Its first voyage was a success. Now, its loop was kind of small, but that's okay because we didn't want the Titanic to be that far out. We still wanted it to be within viewing distance. See the harbor over there? As for the Titanic, it was going to be right here next to Nomadic. All we had to do was build a little platform so that we could put our schematic cannon down and it would start building the thing. 
Wait a minute. Did you actually think I was going to build the Titanic by hand? No way! The schematic cannon was going to do all the work as usual. I put the chests down. Now it was simply a matter of supplying all of the materials to the cannon. Thankfully, we had a lot of concrete. I transferred the schematic over, and I do want to let you know that the schematic is my design. And the cannon just started going. Look at the size of that hole. That thing is massive! It was a lot of blocks, and it took a lot of time, but eventually, the Titanic began taking shape. After some progress was made and some time had passed, you could actually get a feel for how big the ship was compared to the dock itself. This thing was a behemoth. By this point, some of the first boat decks were actually done, so we could actually walk on the ship. And yeah, this thing, I'm not gonna furnish it. It's just way too large. I mean, look at it from the map. Look at it from the map! It barely fits into the ocean! It's a long run from one side to the other end of the ship, but you know what, I'm gonna do it anyway. I started running all the way over there to the front, known as the bow. I even had to speed it up because that's how long it took. And yes, this is the bow, the front of the Titanic. Yes, it's still incomplete, but it's a work in progress. Even more time went by and the schematic cannon continued to add more blocks to our ship. Eventually, our vessel was complete. Here's a quick little bird's eye view of the top. There she is with her four iconic smokestacks. Fun fact, the fourth one wasn't even real. And yes, here is the final view of the entire ship's length. It was massive. Also, I added the promenade deck, and as we zoom all the way through the length of the ship, this is what it looks like from the pneumatic itself. Yeah, it basically just overshadows the entire little boat. So I hopped on a smaller boat, and one thing I didn't consider was how exactly I was going to get to the top. So I had to add some ladders to the ship's hull, climbing each block one by one, and eventually I made it to the promenade deck. Now, where to start first? Well, how about the inside? There was no inside. If you want to download this build on Patreon, go ahead, furnish it yourself, because that's going to take me way too long if I tried that. But yeah. Here is the front of the ship in all of its glory. I tried to add as much detail as I possibly could, but you know what, like I said before, when you're building with Minecraft blocks, it is a little limiting. If you want more detail, you gotta amp up the scale. And here I'm going to recreate the iconic scene from that one movie, don't remember what it's called. Here it is. And why am I jumping like that? <laughs> I've never seen that animation before. Well, it's time to continue the tour. Where to next? How about the upper boat deck where the lifeboats are? Look at this. I think I spent most of my time designing this area. Here is the bridge where the ship was steered. And there are the Valkyrie and Skies engines because I tried to make this move, but the ship doesn't want to move. So yeah, that was an epic fail. The ship does not move. I do want to let you know that. So consider this as one giant build, just stationary. Also, the interiors all unfurnished, like I said before. Kind of a maze, I even get lost in there. And here, once again, you get a better view of the lifeboats. Do they lower? No. Will they? Yes, because we do need a way to get up and down the side of the ship, but more on that later. Just enjoy the beautiful views of the ship's funnels. And of course, I can't believe I almost forgot this part right here, the Titanic's iconic grand staircase. Not to scale, but you know what, when you do it in Minecraft, what are you gonna do? I even included the clock there. <laughs> Anyways, that is the Titanic Grand Staircase right here. It's got the iconic glass dome, the staircase itself, and yeah. Oh, yeah, the inside of the ship, I almost forgot. That is, well, it is what it is. It's hollow, like I said before. And uh, the reason we went through there was because I wanted to take a shortcut so that we could get back to the side of the boat here, because now it was time to design an elevator that could get us to the top boat deck. And how were we going to do that? Well, with the lifeboat, of course. Lifeboats were lowered, they can also be raised. So, I designed a little lifeboat mechanism here, there's me setting it up, there are the gears, and I had to glue it all together because I wanted it to be one single entity, one platform. 
Once the glue was applied, it was time to design the elevator functions as well as the controls for it. There's the controls right there. That's going to allow us to go up and down. And of course, I have to add these redstone connectors so that the elevator knows where to stop. That's right there. And yeah, looks like it was time to give it a test and it worked beautifully. Finally, we had a means of going up and down the side of our ship. It goes down, guess what? It even goes back up. All you have to do is go to the controls, press the button, and the lifeboat is raised once again to the top boat deck. Well, there you have it, friends, the Titanic in Minecraft form. With the help of our boat, we were able to build a ship that would be worthy of legend. And it is. There it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you want this build, be sure to follow me on Patreon. The schematic will be there available for download. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. This has been Double Cell. Thanks for watching.